The episode you're about to watch is a sample episode from our member exclusive section. So we now have a uh, member section for our website where you can support our channel by subscribing. You will also get access to member exclusive content. If you guys enjoy the content that you're about to watch, become a member. We really appreciate your support. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome to the episode in the Rails Foundation series. In this episode right here, I'm going to be talking to you guys about ideas behind testing and philosophy behind testing. So we're not going to do a, a lot of coding in this episode. Um, you know, in the Rails community, in the Ruby community, uh, or the development community as a whole, there has been a lot of talk about, uh, you know, what to test, when to test, do we write test before or after. Uh, so I'm going to tell you guys how I test my code there's one very basic rule that I follow, and that is keep everything very, very simple. So minimal tools uh, when it comes to testing. In your code, you can use a lot of tools to get stuff done faster. But when you're actually writing tests, you want um, there to be as minimal learning curve as possible because the test is just there to ensure that your code works. So... Um, you know, using a lot of tooling is goes against that philosophy. And this is something I've found uh, leading teams of, you know, 20, 30 people that the more tools you have, the more tools your team has to learn, uh, you know, in order just to write simple tests. Uh, and, and that just in, you know, it just becomes, um, you know, less productive. So uh, the next idea is, you know, how much to test. Uh, test enough that you feel confident about the code that you're writing, right? Uh, what do I mean by confident? I mean, when you're going to show your code to someone, uh, this is the best litmus test you can do. When you're going to, um, you know, go to your uh, project leader or stakeholder or whoever, and you're about to demo a certain feature, ask yourself if you feel confident. You do not need 100% test coverage on your projects, but what you need to know is, have you thought about every scenario that's possible? Uh, you know, if you in your head has thought about every scenario that is possible that can come up with in order to like make sure that, uh, you know, that everything in your, in your application works, uh, every page is working that you want to show off uh, and you're confident about that, then you have enough tests. If you go on a sleep and you're feeling, right, I did a good job today, you know, I wrote code and it all works, then you've written enough tests. You don't need 100% test coverage, just enough so you can go to sleep feeling good. That's, that's the easiest way I can tell you how to do it because that's how I do it. Uh, and on keeping tooling minimal, I use uh, the test framework that comes by default with the Rails framework. It's the mini test framework. Uh, and everything that you ever need to know about testing with Rails is in this one guide. That's the beautiful thing about it. If you write tests and, you know, you use other frameworks, uh, you, you know, everybody has their preference, but if you use the one that's built with Rails, everything that you ever need to know about testing, to know enough to do testing is here on this page. Everything is here. You do not need to go read any other documentation. You don't need to go and search the internet for any other thing. This is the beautiful thing about using something which is already integrated and already built in. Um, everything you need to know, I promise you, everything that I'm going to do from this episode forward is going to be referencing this guide here that you're looking at on the screen right over here. It has everything you need. Um, and I've built projects that require payments that, you know, my clients are using that are pro they're processing, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars of invoicing. And, you know... I can tell you with confidence that this has everything you need. So with that said, uh, you know, this is going to be uh, an episode about my personal philosophy on testing and uh, keeping things simple. Uh, if you prefer some other framework, uh, later you discover other framework. Um, you know, there's another framework called RSpec. We will cover that on a different, uh, you know, on a different app. Like right now for this app, we want to keep things simple. Um, so we're going to run with this. And so, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. And so in the next episode, we're going to be writing functional tests for our controllers. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.